Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer data and how to restore backup on the Honor 400. Okay, so as you can see we are doing the setup process and the first method I'm going to show you is how to transfer data from your old device into your Honor. Next I'm going to show you how to restore from the Google one, then how to restore from the external storage drive and, and the last thing will be how to restore from the Honor suit. Uh, so now select your language, then click on get started. Okay, now click on continue. Now select that you have read the above terms and you agree to them. Uh, if you have a SIM card you can insert it right now, then click on continue and now connect into uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. Click on connect, click on continue. Okay, now we need to wait a little bit. So let's simply be patient. Okay, and now we have option to copy apps and data. We want to click on next, click on next once more. And now the phone wants us to connect both devices to each other. Uh, if you have a, a cable, uh, USB-C to USB-C cable, you can connect them. But uh, if you are, uh, if you don't have a cable, just like me, click on no cable and click on copy without. We're gonna do this wirelessly. Click on next. Now let's wait a little bit. Now on our second device we need to open up the Google app. Click on next. Now we can say this phrase uh, or we can type manually uh, set up my device. So I'm going to do that. Okay, in here click on next. Click on next. Okay, verify uh, the shapes. If they're the same, click on next. Click on copy. And in here I need to verify. Okay, copying account. All right, so again, we need to wait a little bit. Okay, something is going on. All right, and now we have option to copy, uh, to choose what we want to copy. Uh, for example, when it comes to the apps, you know, you don't need to copy all of them. You can simply click in here uh, and now you can manually uh, select the apps that you want or don't want to copy. So it's completely up to you. Uh, in my case, I don't want any of apps to be copied. So I'm going to unselect it. Now click on copy and now the process will start. And again, we need to wait a little bit. Okay, now we have the Google services in here. Click on more and click on accept. Now we have an option to enable the backup. Uh, I suggest you should uh, turn those options on. Then click on turn on backup. Now we need to choose our browser and the search engine. Click on next. In my case, I want Google Chrome to be my default browser. Click on set as default. And now I want Google as my uh, default search engine. Now click on continue. Now we have the Gemini, which is uh, the AI assistant and we can turn it on, but it's completely up to you, of course. Now we can see on both uh, devices that the copying is done. Uh, on our second device, we can click on close. We won't be needing it anymore. Uh, in here, click on done. Now let's wait a little bit. And now we have uh, some on our stuff. Click on set manually. Uh, but of course, you, do, you don't need to do this. Uh, click on continue. Mm, in here, you can click on allow or don't allow. Uh, if you have an owner ID, you can, honor, you can log in right now. 
Mm, also, if you want, you can create uh, account in here, but remember that you can always uh, log in uh, later in the settings. Just like me, I'm gonna click on setup later. In here, also, I'm gonna click on uh, skip. Same thing with the Google Pay in my case. In here, I want to enable all services. In here, I want to join. And now select your navigation uh, method. It can be gestures or the three keys. Uh, if you don't know how to use the gestures, you can click on gestures tutorial to get no, uh, to get known how to use it. Then click on finish. And now we are ready to use our device. Mm, also, don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet, because as you take a look on the notification bar, uh, some of the apps might still be installed. Mm, if you have uh, chosen to uh, copy them and they might be downloaded from the Play Store. Mm. So yeah, so don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet. Uh, all right, so that was the first method. And now let me show you how to restore the backup from the Google One. Okay, so now let me show you how to restore the backup from the Google One. Uh, as you can see, we are again doing the setup process. And uh, now, again, I need to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay. Click on continue. Now, wait a few seconds. Okay, and now uh, again, we have copy apps and data. Let's click on next. But now we need to select that we can't use other device. Click on OK. And now we have a possibility to sign in into the Google account. And it is a crucial moment uh, because now uh, we need to log in into the same Google account on which we made the backup earlier. So that's what I'm going to do now. Type your mail and click on next. And now we need to type our password. OK, click on next. Click on next once more. Click on agree. And now we have option to restore data from another device. And that's the thing that we wanted to get. Uh, in here, as you can see, we have a list of the backups. And I'll simply select the one that you want. Uh, so. Let's say, in my case, I'll select the one from the Honor 400 Pro. Uh, and now I need to select what I want to restore. When it comes to the Google Photos and Gmail and Calendar and Drive, you can see that they are synced automatically. Mm. Uh, below, uh, we choose what we want to restore. We can select apps, contacts and the device settings. And for example, when it comes to the apps, uh, you don't need to copy uh, all of them. Uh, but in here you can simply uh, manually select or unselect the apps that you want. But remember that um, some apps uh, are the system apps, so you should be aware of what you are doing. Then click on OK, click on Restore. Now the process will start. And now again we have those Google services. Simply scroll down and click on Accept. When it comes to the backup, I suggest you should turn it on. I'm just doing everything just like in the previous uh, in the previous method. So now again, your default browser, in my case Google Chrome, and Google as my search engine. Click on continue. Now again we have the Gemini. I'm gonna turn it on because why not? Remember, you remember that of course. If you don't turn it on right now, you can always do it later in settings. And if you want to turn them off, you can always do it later mm, okay i don't want to log in into anything click on continue and i don't want any notifications now i'm gonna skip it 
this honor ID. Same thing with the uh, screen lock. I'm gonna set it later. Same thing with the Google Pay. In here, I'm gonna click on enable. I'm gonna join. Uh, select your navigation method. I'll just leave the gestures. Click on finish. And now we are ready to use our device. And again, some of the apps might be installed from the Play Store you can see right in here. So don't disconnect from the Wi-Fi yet. Okay, so that was the second method. And now let me show you how to restore the backup uh, from the external storage drive. Uh, to do it, we need to open up our settings. Let me also adjust the brightness a little bit. Okay, let's open up your settings. Scroll down, click on system and updates. Click on backup and restore. Now select data backup. Click on agree. Click on OK. Click on external storage. Now you need to connect your mm, external storage drive. In here I have my USB device. So I'm gonna connect it into, into the phone. Okay, now it should appear on the screen that it's available. Maybe it won't, but it should. Let's try again. Okay, now it's fine. Click on USB storage. Uh, in here, as you can see, we have uh, the backup that I made. Also, if you don't know how to create uh, all that kinds uh, of backup, on our channel there is a video when I'm showing you um, all methods how to create them. And now, select anything that you want, click on restore, and now I need to type the password that I have set before. Okay, then click on OK. Now uh, the apps and call logs and everything that you can see on the screen now is being restored. So we need to simply wait. So I'll see you once it's finished. Okay, so now as you can see everything has been successfully restored. Now we can click on done. Okay. Now we can go back from here. We can unplug the USB device. Okay, and now as a last option, I'm going to show you how to restore the backup from the Honor suit. Okay, so now uh, as you see, we are on the PC. Now we need to open up the Honor suit app. If you don't know how to download it and how to use it, uh, on our other video, when I'm showing you how to create a backup, uh, I'm describing and I'm showing you step by step how to use it. Alright, so now uh, we need to connect our phone using the USB-C cable into our PC. Okay, and now we need to uh, select USB-C, use USB to transfer files. Now we need to open up the settings. We need to click on about phone. And now we need, we need to tap on the build number a few times until we see that developer mode is enabled. Now, we need to go back, click on system and updates, click on developer options, scroll down, and click on the USB debugging. Click on OK. Now you can see that on our PC and our phone the uh, question appeared, do we want to allow for uh, debugging? Click on OK. Okay, now uh, the app says uh, that the Honor Suit will be installed on our device. So we need to click on OK. Now click on More Details and click on Install Anyway. Click on Agree. Click on Allow, 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 Allow allow basically allow for everything and now we need to type uh, this code uh, in our app so that's what i'm going to do now
Okay, now click on connect. Okay, and now we can see that uh, our app uh, and the phone has been uh, connected to each other. Now to restore the backup, we want to click on restore. It's that icon. I don't know why the app is in English, is in Polish, but uh, no worry. Uh, okay, now select uh, in here what you want to restore. Click this button. Now you need to type the password that you have uh, set before. Then click on OK. And as you can see, uh, the restoring process has started. So now we need to wait until it's finished. So I'll see you once it's done. Okay, and now you can see on the screen that everything has been successfully restored. Simply click on re ready. And now we are done. Okay, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.